All right, you can hear a lot of talk about another WikiLeaks dump this morning, and that is telling you how the uh, NSA and the uh, CIA uh, may have routinely just tapped into anyone's cell phone or even their smart TV and activated the microphone. And uh, we're going to try and figure out how that applies in the business world this morning. Mike Apple is doing that for us right now. Mike? Yeah, good morning, Kevin. They have the capability to do so, or at least the indications from that 8,000 pages of information dumped onto WikiLeaks uh, for the CIA that uh, even when your smart device is turned off, the CIA and other uh, security agencies could have the take capabilities to uh, turn the microphone on, and you wouldn't even know it. Uh, the, they're, they're saying that this has been uh, not necessarily used in a widespread application or anything of that nature, but you're talking about security of a smart device. And this is what the whole, uh, you know, backstory of BlackBerry was, for example, about how secure are these uh, smart devices that we all pretty much carry nowadays. Apple says that its iOS 10 uh, basically blocks any of these vulnerabilities and 80% of users on Apple are on their newest operating system. Samsung, meantime, just putting out a statement and they're being a little bit more, well, coy about the entire situation, basically just saying they're, quote, urgently looking into the matter. So some questions, again, about the accessibility to smartphones and TVs uh, built by Samsung specifically. They were mentioned in that WikiLeaks data dump. Canadian dollars starting the day at its lowest level of the year. Bad timing for a March break trip down south. We got the dollar at 74.4 uh, cents U.S. dropping again a week from today. We are expecting a U.S. interest rate hike, and that's the main reason why the dollar has been dropping pretty consistently here over the past while. Bank of Canada not doing anything with interest rates. U.S. Fed looking at an interest rate hike. Price for oil also pressuring the Canadian dollar. Oil supply in the United States right now at record levels. New CEO of Adidas saying he's going to aggressively challenge Nike in the North American marketplace. That means investment in the United States for the German-based company. Adidas also looking to sell its CCM hockey brand. It's up for sale. Question is, who's going to buy it? The uh, Performance Sports Group, which owns the Bauer hockey brand, a uh, famous uh, Canadian label in the hockey market. They've just recent, recently been bought out under a bankruptcy organization by Fairfax Financial. Could there be some sort of collaboration with CCM going forward? Remains to be seen. Snap Inc. stock, well, losing quite a bit of ground over the past two trading days, down 21 percent in uh, the reaction to the record-breaking run-up for shares of Snap that we saw last week on its initial public stock offering debut, where the stock soared in the first couple of days as investors cashed in on the debut of that uh, stock on Wall Street, but again, losing, oh, about... Uh, $5 billion in market cap in just the past couple of days. And the next generation of the Airbus A380, the world's largest plane, could have one of its signature pieces removed from the interior, the Grand Staircase. Airbus is looking to increase sales of the A380, which has been sluggish, to say the least, because of the size of the jet in general. But taking out the Grand Staircase would lower the weight of the plane. You could put in 60 more seats, and more cargo space could carry over 600 passengers on a single flight, and they've got uh, operations with Emirates Air and Singapore Air and looking for more sales by increasing the capacity of the plane.